Well, good morning. You know, I want to be clear. I am not driving on a road right now. I am parked in a parking lot and the car is off. And what comes down to your phone, even just holding your phone or even, well, just touching your phone to get directions on a map, well, that is now illegal. And, well, state police and local police, well, they're going to be cracking down on that starting today. I totally agree with it. I know a lot of crashes that happen off talking on your phone. Drivers, consider this your warning. Drive with your phone in your hand and drive distracted. You could be seeing these flashing lights in your rear view mirror. If you're really worried about it, I didn't tell you where your home, new home for your cell phone is, and that's in your glove box or your trunk. Um, there are a lot of people that can't separate themselves from that cell phone. The law goes into effect today, and it makes holding or using a cell phone while driving a primary offense. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't, I don't really text and drive or talk and drive. The new law says holding or supporting a cell phone or an electronic device is, quote, physically supporting it with any parts of the hands, arms, or shoulders. Now, this is what you cannot do under the new law. You cannot talk on the phone, text, watch or record videos, or look at social media. But there are some exceptions for the new law. Law enforcement and first responders can use their phones while they're working for work-related purposes. And any driver can use their phone calling 911 for an emergency. Kaysom Bulla once witnessed a distracted driving accident, and that accident has stuck with him since. Most thing I check for whenever I stop is like people behind me, because they're always on their phone. I always wear they're going to rear end me, because one time I saw a semi truck dude with, his, with him on his phone smash through like six cars on 94. This new law was passed to save lives and prevent distracted driving crashes. Quite honestly, a lot of our drivers are really overdriving their abilities. And when you put a cell phone in your hand, Along with not being that great of a driver, the risk of killing somebody is substantially higher. And when it comes down to fines, well, the first offense is $100, and then every offense after that, it will increase. Uh, the second fine is $250, and then if you get three offenses within a three-year span, well, you're going to have to take a driver improvement course. You also, there is a kind of, there is an exception. So, like, let's say you do have your maps, and it's on a mount, and it's locked up here, and you need to, you know, just go there and... Um, touched your map you can touch your map and make sure you can get your way to your destination so there is that exception reporting in oak park and peter maxwell seven action news okay peter one touch only thank you so much